Light, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Makarudash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule impeccably well. Shalom to the hopeful elect, pushing this truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe in the sincere hopes of being delivered in these last days. This is the Bobby Akanan from the GMS England branch. As you can see, this will serve as an in-transit edition video. Lord willing, it's edifying unto you brothers out there and few sisters listening and also learning. Now, as we know, we're currently in the midst of the um, of the Passover. This is a very, very, you know, heavy time period, and. Um, you know, as we always stress, beginning with our apostles and elders on down, you know, this is um, the Passover, you know, is a solemn assembly, all right? It's not a time of mirth. It's not a time of, you know, fooling around and partying. It's a solemn and it's a very serious assembly. And as I'm sure, you know, many brothers have been doing, you know, I've been heavily meditating on, um, on our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, and, you know, the things that, you know, he went through leading up to, you know, the crucifixion, all right? You know, meditating on, you know, the thoughts that, you know, may have been coming to his mind, meditating on, you know, the demon of doubt, meditating on, you know, what it takes in order to, um, walk your walk and really, you know, fulfill your, your your lot, you know, in this ministry, man. You know, the scriptures say in the book of Timothy, you know, to um fight the good fight of faith, you know, and to finish your course. And, you know, beginning with Yahweh Shai, you know, he finished his course, you know, and he fulfilled the will of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, okay, his father. And he conquered the flesh, all right? And as a result of that, you know, we mark the perfect man, you know, as the scriptures say, man. So, you know, this is really a time period to, you know, meditate on these things, you know, to meditate on the sacrifice that was made for us to be able to have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, for us to know, you know, who we are as a nation of people, for us to know what to expect in the near future, you know, concerning the kingdom. You know, concerning being joint heirs with Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, because it's, it's a lot. All right, it really is a lot. And a lot was sacrificed in order for us to have this information. And we really need to meditate upon these things, man. Okay, not just, you know, within the midst of the Passover, but all the time. Okay, all the time, you know, we need to meditate on these things and be in the spirit of the Passover, man. Because, you know, you can feel it. It's a heavy spirit. Okay, but really, you know, we're in the midst of the end of the world, man. Okay, so it's continually a heavy spirit out here because things are changing in the world. Okay, and Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai is bringing these prophecies to pass. So the scriptures speak about being in the house of mourning. Okay, that's where you should desire to be, man. We should be desiring to be in the house of mourning, man. That's the best place to be, not in the house of mirth. Okay, because we're not in a, in, in a time of mirth. We're in a time of war. We're in a time of destruction. We're in a time of war and rumors of wars. Okay, we're in a time of people bugging out, losing their mind. We're in a time of, um, you know, people stumbling upon this truth and it not being for them. And then as a result, again, they're bugging out. Okay, and I was watching that video, you know, of that woman that was, you know, basically um, <laughs> streaming a demon you know, from her spirit, and she was talking about, you know, the apostles, man, you know, trying to curse out the apostles, you know, saying all kinds of, you know, um, foolery and abominable things out of her mouth because she had demons on her, man. So this is a very, very heavy time that we are currently in right now, and we're going to see things of this nature continue to heighten, okay, as we draw closer to the appearance of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, all right? things on the on the spiritual side of things is going to completely continue to heighten 
and completely continue to get more spooky and more unexplainable as time goes by okay but we have this truth we have that stability in this wisdom knowledge and understanding so we already know what's going on in these latter days man okay but meditate always upon Yahweh Shai and what he went through in order in order for us to have this wisdom knowledge and understanding man let's not forget he was in the garden of Gethsemane and he was he was sweating great drops of blood man okay because that's how much stress that our Lord was under okay that's how much spiritual stress that Yahweh Shai was under man to the point where he was sweating blood okay we really need to meditate upon these things man because sometimes I'm not gonna lie, man. I'll be meditating on some of these things, and it can bring tears to your eyes, man. When you really, you know, think about what Yahweh Shai was, was was going through, you know, being heavily demonized, being accused of doing things that you didn't do. Okay, here it is. You know, you, you, you've come to, you know, help a generation of people, all right? And they turn they turn their back on you. They accuse you, falsely accuse you, you know, and eventually, you know, get you killed, man. Okay, it's a real sad, sad story. However, it's a necessary evil. Okay, again, that sacrifice was necessary through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. Okay, and this is the Lord's theater. Okay, this is the Lord's movie, and He's the supreme director of the events that play out upon the face of the earth, man. But still, we have to meditate upon these things, man. We have to meditate upon the sacrifices that was made, so that we could be in the position that we are in today. Okay, so that was the greatest sacrifice, man. Okay, but now, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know, we have these accounts to meditate upon and to help us on our spiritual walk and journey in this truth, in this faith. Okay, and that's why I quoted earlier, you know, regarding marking the perfect man. Okay, who is Yahweh Shai, man? Because he done it. He fulfilled all that was written of him in the new, in the Old Testament and also the New Testament, man. All right, he fulfilled all of these things, man. Okay, so really we've already run the battle, all right, through Yahweh Shai. Now the rest of the movie has got to play out. And that's the phase we're in right now. We're just playing out the rest of the movie because Yahweh Shai, he done all the heavy lifting, man. Okay, he done all the heavy lifting, man. And that's a beautiful thing. Kar Halayim La, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Makar Kadash. But oftentimes meditate upon what Yahweh Shai went through for us to be in this situation, man. Okay, I was even um, thinking about, you know, Yahweh Shai knowing all along, all right, that Judas was going to betray him, okay? But he had to deal with that. And you have Judas there, you know, he was performing miracles, he was doing things, he was a part of the ministry. However, Yahweh Shai always knew that he would eventually betray him, man. Okay, do you know, you know, what it takes to be you know, walking around with that with that level of, you know, wisdom, knowledge and understanding and, and foresight, you know, and you have to deal with someone, you know, that you know is going to sell you out and is ultimately a demon, okay? Yahweh Shai, you know, <laughs> Yahweh Shai is on a high supreme level, man, okay? And I was also meditating upon, you know, when you had that woman come to Yahweh Shai and pour the expensive ointment, you know, over his body, basically preparing him for burial, man, you know, and Yahweh Shai knew what was happening, all right, he knew what this woman came on to him to do, okay, and he knew that that had to be fulfilled, that had to be done, okay, now you got to put your mind state, <laughs> you know, in, 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 in Yahweh Shai for that moment, man, like you actually have a woman coming up to you and preparing you for your death, man, okay, so Yahweh Shai accepted all right, really accepted in the spirit what he had to do, man. He already accepted it. He knew why he was on the scene. He knew, you know, the things that were written down, you know, about him, okay, in the scriptures. He already knew all of these things. He knew he had to die. He knew why this woman was coming up to him and anointing him with, with all of this oil, preparing his body for the death, okay? You got you to gotta be a, a, a whole different entity to be dealing with, you know, these weighty things happening in your life, man. Okay, why do you think Yahweh Shai was always uh, drinking wine? You know, and they called him a wine bibber. Okay? We, 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 got, we got to meditate on all of these things, man. You know, we got to meditate on, you know, the pain that he was feeling on the cross. Okay? And like I said in, you know, a few videos ago, you know, there's a video that you can watch and it goes into it. Alright? It goes into the, the pain 
you know, of the cross and how it's one of the worst torture methods of all time to ever experience, man. And there was even one video where the, the guy that was explaining it, you know, he was a scientist and he was like, look, man, for anyone to endure what, you know, Yahawashai endured, you basically got to be, you know, from another world. You know, pretty much summarizing what he said, he was basically saying you got to be from another world because that kind of pain, you know, that kind of torture, all right, uh, you know, no average human body, you know, could really take all of that, man. But Yahweh Shai did, man, because he's not just he's not just a man, okay? That we're, we're talking about the son, you know, the only begotten son of Yahweh. All right, this ain't no ordinary man. That's why he was able to do those things, okay? Because it's all of the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. So it's, it's it's very good to meditate upon these things, man, because it keeps you humble, okay? And, and and it puts you in a mind frame of always understanding how you know, fortunate you are to have this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you know, to have this truth. Okay, we are very fortunate, man. Okay, and none of us has had to go through what Yahweh Shai went through. And no one went anymore, no one ever will. Okay? That's why the scriptures say he was marred more than any man. And in the kingdom, we're actually gonna see that body. Alright, we're gonna see, you know, the result. Of our Lord and our Savior Yahweh Shai, you know, after he came off, came came down from the from, from the crucifix, man, we're gonna see that body. We're gonna see how you know deformed and you know mangled you know it was. But even in all that, you know, as 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 the scriptures say, you know, back in the um in the Psalms or the Proverbs, you know, if it, it escapes me right now, but the scripture said that you know none of these bones you know would be broken. All right, and that was according to prophecy. All right, so none of these bones were actually broken. Okay. None of his bones were broken. Even, you know, considering how severe that was. Why? Because that's how it was written. That's how Yahu, the, the, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shai, you know, ordained it to happen that none of his bones should be broken. And I remember, it was a few years ago, I believe it was Elder Apostle Kabar, he done a video and he said that, you know, he believes that, you know, the bones, you know, represent, um, you know, the elect. All right? The bones, you know, represent the elect, so none of the bones will be broken. And like the scriptures say, none of them shall be plucked out of my hand, man. All right, so it's heavy. All right, it's a very, you know, very heavy thing, man. And, and the Lord is very specific with events and, you know, things that happen in the scriptures. You know, numbers, you know, um, nothing's a coincidence, man, basically is what I'm trying to say. So um, I just wanted to put that out there. You know, Lord willing, you know, this uh, video is edifying. And um, until the next one, you know, Shalom. Ka halayim la yihaw ba'ashim yawashai ba'ashim ka kudash.